Here in Chicago, DePaul is the latest university in the city where students have started their own campus protest. This is a view from Chopper 2 of the growing encampment today. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez is live with that and the prominent civil rights activist lending his support to the cause today. Maribel. Yeah, Joan Erica, Reverend Jesse Jackson uh, showing his support at these peaceful demonstrations by attending one of them. We spoke exclusively with him earlier today, and tonight we're seeing students banding together. Protesters from Northwestern University delivering tarps and supplies to students at the University of Chicago. And now we're also told here at DePaul. It's day two of anti-war peaceful protests at the University of Chicago. The number of tents growing overnight. We had about 20 to 30 tents uh, yesterday. Now I think we have around 50. But their message has stayed the same. Always to see you. Civil rights activist Reverend Jesse Jackson also on campus to show his support. You're a powerful people. We're not here just to like make a political statement um, as a bunch of like activists just for fun because we're young and cool and hippies we're, we're here for act, like there's a genocide student protesters joined by professors this is i think a, a, an incredible moment we're calling all the school to disclose its investments and cut ties with israel as the war in gaza continues there's been so much has been done to defame these protests right and it's specifically been giving a, a, a false idea of say the protesters and pro-palestinian people on one side versus like jews and jews Jewish students on the other. There are so many Jewish students and professors like myself here um, and at campus encampments across the country. Similar encampments now happening at DePaul University. Here, their calls for divestment and disclosure of university finances also on the list of demands. Our university has continuously sent emails um, labeling this as a war between Israel and Gaza. Um, this is not the case. This is a genocide. Currently, right now, Gaza is being bombed. We have people within this campus right now who have family members in Gaza and cannot reach them. I have family in the West Bank and Palestine. So to see my university ignore my, my family suffering, it's um, extremely hard to bear with. Now, with demonstrations happening in campuses across the city, CPD Superintendent Snelling was asked how his department is responding, and here is what he had to say. People are protesting peacefully. We're not, we're not engaging them in a way that's going to, to uh, inflame uh, what it is they're trying to do. If people are just trying to hear, have their voices heard, hey, this is America. Now, meanwhile, back here, DePaul University says it supports the students' right to protest and their right to free speech, but says that any violation to the campus's safety will be met with disciplinary action. Reporting live outside of DePaul University, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Maribel.